boys, what is going on and welcome back to another YouTube video and yes another review. So today we are doing the player of the month Benzema review. I actually got some duplicate Alino and he means duplicate so I'm like why not? Let's chuck him in to the Benzema player of the month. He's a 94 rated card and even if I don't like him I can go ahead and use him in a icon pack down the line because a 94 rated card, the cheapest on the market is literally, I'm going to actually have a look, I think the cheapest non-SBC 94 rated on the card uh, card on the market would be very expensive because there's literally not much at all. So the cheapest 94 on the card, rated card on the market is Robert Lewandowski in form 400,000 coins. So even if you do not use them, you've got a 400,000 coin fodder card to put into an icon pack down the line. But coming in at an 83 and 85 rated squad, roughly 200,000 coins to complete. You get a six foot one, medium low, which is not great, but he has got the four star, four star. We've gone with a hunter. Yes, his balance I know is lacking a lot, but I really want that plus 10 pace boost because with an engine, which would be the other option to get that balance and agility boost, I feel like it doesn't give a big enough pace boost. But so he does go to 93 pace, 99 finishing, 96 power, 99 positioning, 99 volleys, and 99 penalties. His shooting is basically max. His pace will be a very nice boost. His passing is absolutely sensational. Now, disregarding his agility and balance and his body type, his dribbling, like 96 reactions, 95 ball control, this card genuinely looks nutty. 99 heading as well. He's got the solid stamina, some nice jumping. He's got the finesse shot. He's got the outside of foot shot. This card looks absolutely unreal as with the custom tactics as well lads we will be playing five at the back because we are actually doing a gun to review at the same time two birds with one stone and to fit him in we have to do so but we do have benzema on stay central and get him behind and attacking he is stay central get him behind stay forward usually with stockier players i'd have him as a target man but i do think i would rather use benzema as a get in behind player with a hunter because 93 pace is more than enough to get in behind i reviewed benzema him as 93 second or like fourth in form I believe it was uh, last week and he was very nice so it'll be interesting to see what this 84 is all about. Let's get into it boys. Alright boys here we go we're playing foot champs because we're risking it for a biscuit. It's 7.40 in the morning um, in New Zealand and it is very hard. We've been sat here for like five minutes trying to find the match. We finally found one. It's probably going to be quite sweaty. Wow, I mean, he's got a lot of icons. I mean, maybe not the highest tier of icons. He's got Thierry Henry, which you'd love to see. Normal Messi, it's honestly a team we should be beating. It's a good team. I saw all the icons loading up, and I'm like, oh, shit. But, uh, all right, let's get into it, boys. Solid team. Benzema's first touch. Genuinely, <laughs> he feels very, very good on the ball. Considering six foot one, we did lose a ball. It's my fault. I'm just mucking around with him. And the gameplay is very laggy, but... He feels very, very good on the ball compared to his uh, previous cards. Benzema. Dude, the lag. Please, EA. The lag. Good passing from Benzema, though. Benzema. Touch. Dude, Benzema's got a rocket of a shot on him. Boys, brilliant positioning. Bangs that in. 12 minutes, and Benzema's got his first goal. Wow, unbelievable. Good stuff, man. Jesus Christ. Go on, Benzema. Nice heel to heel. Gets a little bit of a, gets a push a little bit. And that's his body type. Like, I'm trying to dribble with him. And due to him being six foot one, he hasn't got the craziest uh, agility and balance, obviously. Areas like that, he's not going to thrive in. You really need to use him up top. He's got the 93 pace with a hunter. Get in behind. Get the ball to his feet and bang it. He just can't, you can't really dribble with him too much. Very, very nice. Very nice fear. Now he's making that run. I see that perfectly. We're going to bang that near post. What? Dude, that is beautifully well worked. That is absolutely incredible. And he picks up his second, ladies and gentlemen. I'm digging this card, boys. Like I said, running in behind. This literally backs my uh, point up perfectly. He's running in behind, and he's getting that shot through. That's what you have to do with this player of a month, Benzema card, lads. Benzema, she drops back for it. It is beautiful. Benzema, fake shot around, give that through to Pale, Pale around, that's an assist for Benzema ladies and gentlemen, that's the third and that is the assist for Kadeem Benzema, three goal contributions for him, beautifully worked as well and Benzema's passing is something else lads, Benzema's passing is genuinely something else. 
Oh boys, a very convincing performance for Benzema. Two goals, one assist, three goal contributions, and man of the match. This card was absolutely sensational. As I said, getting in behind, finishing it is where you want to do great with him. And I actually backed up my point perfectly because I did exactly that. I like on the ball dribbling, he's not brilliant. But as I said, I backed that up. Him getting in behind and bagging at home was absolutely sensational. Let's have a look over the match highlights of Enter the Pros and Con screen. So starting off, we have Pale, we give us to Benzema. As I said, his dribbling's not great, but he makes that run perfectly. Brilliant touch, bags that far post. I was at far post, yeah, it was far post. I guess it was to his left, but a beautiful finish, a brilliant run as well. Now to the second goal, I was literally saying making runs, getting in behind is perfect, and as you can see, Benzema is making that run and he's getting in behind. This is where he's best with the hunter, 93 pace, making runs, getting in behind, taking a touch. You already know from this position. Uh, whether you go far post or near post, we did go near post. Benzema is not missing that, boys. He is not. His shooting is basically max. He is absolutely unreal. Um, and as for this as well, nice face shot and a beautiful, well-worked ball to Pale. Pale with a turn and a nice finish. Genuinely, boys, Benzema's dribbling for a player of his type is absolutely sensational. But still, being six foot two, I believe it is, with a little bit of a stocky build, yes, he is not going to be a player that you can dribble around with all the time. But he definitely is reliable. He's reliable with definitely, like I said, said not turning on the ball but he's definitely reliable with the dribbling with the ball at his feet he's reliable shooting wise he's very very fast in game so as you can see the pros on the pros and cons on the screen starting off with the pros it is going to be his four star four star it's going to be his pace it's going to be his shooting it's going to be his passing and it is going to be his uh his traits he's got some exceptional traits now as for cons it is literally just going to be his balance and body type being the body type he is and as i just said with the, the relative low balance of 73 he's not great on the ball and he's not a player you want to constantly you know be dribbling with and he's not one of those quote-unquote meta players but for me this rating out of 10 considering the value is a 9.5 this card is exceptional I've used multiple uh, Benzema's I've used his headliner and draft you, I know exactly what type of card you're getting like I said running in behind stay central get in behind chuck a hunter on him bang them home get the ball to his feet at all times you have got a sensational striker for only 200,000 coins. Boys, a 9.5 out of 10 from me. This card is absolutely unbelievably worth it. I cannot say it enough. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you are new, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Till next time, boys. I'll see you guys all later. Peace out, lads.